Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. I've just realised, and only just realised, that there's a little black box in the corner when you're doing YouTube um, lives. And that little black box, it's not until it gets to seven or eight seconds does it disappear. And that's why people say to me, do you still do Raggy? Welcome to Raggy's. So anyway, tonight, um, I wanted something lowish because... I'm working in the garden, putting the next door's fence back up. I took it there <laughs> and I'm putting it up. Hey, sucker for punishment. Um, so it's Salt Beer Factory and it's their Citroen Nipa Junior. So it's a New England IPA, that's what Nipa stands for. And Junior, so it's a lower ABV. Um, so it's described as juicy, hazy, 4.3%. And Salt Beer Factory themselves, I'll read what it says. Salt is a microbrewery on a mission to unify heritage and modern brewing. Our homeland, the UNESCO village of Saltaire, was built by a super progressive pioneer of workers' rights in the 1800s. We adopt the same progressive spirit for our modern brewing styles. The inspiration of our forefathers can be seen in our name. From our, our brewery and the textile terms used to name our beers. So yeah, salt air. Um, good brewery in, in, in salt air, called salt air as well. 4.3%. And it doesn't really say, oh it does. Citra, one of the most sought after hops among craft brewers. A session strength New England IPA, a junior juice bomb. This would be interesting because um, if you know anything about most of the big double IPAs and that, is that they all have got this uncanny knack of you not being able to tell out what the strength is until later on when you go up the house and you fall asleep early and get, and get a bollocking off the wife. <clears throat> yep, that's me. And I've got to say, it's looking, it's looking decent, that is. And is it a thing where you're going to come across a beer one day that has the same taste as an 8% but in a 4% or even lower? And I suppose in some ways, um, it's an interesting, an interesting thing. I mean, most people just want to drink and drink something big, but it is interesting. So... Uh, mind the monkey glass. Um, I thought I'd cleaned it properly, but obviously I haven't. Um, so yeah, it's it looks a proper juice bomb of a beer. White um yeah, white, uh, good white head on the top, frothy head. Like I say, it smells no different to any uh, eight percenters that I've smelled. Tropical. Well, that's going to be interesting. Good taste. I can tell. It's uh, the ABV is lower. But. Blooming flavourful. Can't beat the flavour on it. You know, it's, it's top for flavour. And uh, will it be the thing that uh, in years to come when they start bringing out paper unit, uh, I think it's already out in Scotland, does it? Uh, where you, the units dictate the price in, in a beer, cider and so on and so forth. And it does make you wonder if, and also to stop us all drinking too much, which, you know, slightly guilty of myself. Um if that's going to be the case in years to come always interesting you know we're in everything evolves and uh it will um yeah it will be very interesting to see what what goes off in the long run but in any case it's a nice beer So, it's not been a bad Monday. I mean, as Mondays go, I mean, 
it took it down for a bit and I had to bail, bail and go inside because I just, it's like, I'm not getting paid to work out in the rain and in my own garden. And you get that, you start a job and you think, oh, chuffing rain, cold, wet, miserable. And um, luckily it's dried up and uh, I'm back on and uh, I'm progressing quite nicely. And the thing for me now is to try and get as much of the fence done as possible. One for the neighbour so they can get their thing back. Two for me as well so I can get mine, get it painted, go round and paint it. So it looks bob on for them. I'm painting my side a different colour. So they're having a nice cedar colour. And I'm having grey. Yeah, grey. Modern grey. It'll be interesting. It will be interesting. Till, till, till uh, things change and then we go back to a different colour. I remember painting all the wood on the back blue. And then obviously blue came, fizzled out and then I painted it dark brown. And in some ways, uh, bright colours just make you feel happier. It's like it is when, when the sun's out. Um, the sun, you know, it's surprising how sunshine makes people happy. Unless you work in a public park in Nottingham. And uh, the sun comes out and all the idiots come out and it's like, oh God, I wish it was raining. And uh, yeah, I had 20 years of that. So it's quite funny really to, to have gone from... Uh, absolutely bloody hating the sun in the summer months to absolutely loving the sun in the summer months it's a total switch around of, of what things used to, of the way i used to be and uh, and it's all down to what, what you put up with at work and not work but yeah at work really and uh, it's, it's it is it's, it's interesting it is in any case i like the beer tastes lovely can't remember if Soul to come into the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival this year. Um, I can't look on, you know, I'm using my phone to, to uh, um, do the beer review. So, if they are, you know, it'd be interesting to see what they bring. If they're not, then uh, I've got it wrong anyway. <laughs> so, but their stock has gone up in, in, in the last few years. A bit like Siren, a bit like Northern Monk. The, there's three there's there's a couple of others but i think these are the three whose stock in the big supermarkets certainly has risen and obviously getting your beers into supermarkets not that you earn a lot of money on beers in supermarkets there's not a massive profit you'd think that you're selling thousands of pounds worth thousands of bottles a day you know across the nation that you'd be making a, um, a bomb but the, the fact is no you're not um, what was we told on Saturday? Um, the brewer from the head brewer of Navigation Brewery, he told me uh, and other people they made one penny a case. One penny a case. So eight beers, if it's eight or twelve in a case, I'm not. I don't know. But on on a, on a so they're what they'd make is absolutely pitiful. However. It increases knowledge, stockpile, people get something like this, you know, and then they, they go further and they go to the websites and buy. So in a lot of ways, supermarkets are, are like the, the testing ground. Send a decent beer to the supermarket and um, there's a good chance that moving forward, you know, um, you can increase sales and that and brand knowledge, people knowing your brand. Obviously, a lot of brands out there don't need to go to supermarkets. Some that have have regretted it quite uh, substantially as well. But hey, -oh, none of us are perfect in life. So um, we all make silly mistakes. Uh, but it's when you make silly mistake after silly mistake after silly mistake then that becomes um, an issue doesn't it um but and there again really you know we, we all make mistakes and i'm as bad as anyone you know do stupid things and then think about it afterwards and think why the hell did i say that or you try and be funny with somebody in a funny way not not funny but you know like um trying to make people laugh be sarcastic 
and no one gets it and it's like oh god i, I might as well not have bothered <laughs> so you know it's that, it's that sort of thing really in any case It's a juicy, fruity New England IPA. And um, nice tropical flavours. Can't fault it. Can't fault it for what it is. Um, a good 4.3 out of 5 for me. Would I drink it again? Yeah, yeah. Um, well played, Salt Bear Factory. And that's it for this review. I've got to crack on. Get on with some work. Because sitting down here ain't getting the fence panel book back up. Well, bit by bit. I'm using pallets because I, I'm, I want to do recycling. I, I put it up and I'm using the same pallets, although I'm making the fence actually lower down. So it, uh, there's more light in the neighbor's garden. And so it looks spot on as well. But uh, yeah, it's, um, there's sometimes you can do without it. And I've got the beer room to sort out. So that is a big project. That's a project where I'm going to absolutely video it all. And people can look at my mistakes, because there will be mistakes, and uh, see where where they can do better or worse, yeah, depending on what you think. Right. Cheers, everyone, for watching and, and subscribing to the channel. May the channel get, you know, bigger and, you know, eventually at least, maybe. And uh, thank you all for commenting. I am lazy at commenting back. I do know that. But uh, sometimes, you know, I have a thing where I don't touch my phone. And uh, I see a comment. And I could reply straight away near enough. And I don't. And I get a block. And it's not the fact that I'm being an ignorant git. But uh, cheers all.